ever associate that neck motion was was um, somewhat it came along with the migraines or did you see that no i just have the headache and all of these symptoms without really recognizing any stiffness or discomfort or limitation in neck movement i never noticed the discomfort until i started seeing ryan okay all right very good all right so um you you saw your primary care doctor they attempted to treat it for a while they referred you on to a neurologist they did some testing mm -hmm. okay ct scans and things um i didn't do ct scans i I did um, trigger points okay. um, with stress in my back. So he basically went along my spine and noted where all the triggers were yeah. along my spine, my neck and my back. Um, so right at the base of my skull, all through my shoulders, um, in my shoulders, behind my scapulas, just the whole, my whole neck is just was one tense mess. mess. Um, mm -hmm. That was just built up pressure over time. Okay. And then the medications, which there were side effects. You, you mentioned that briefly. Talk about the side effects with those migraine medications. Yeah. So I went through a lot of migraine medications. Um, I had been prescribed blood thinners to help alleviate migraine um, effects, antidepressants. I was on for a while for migraine um, and also sumatriptan and one, a couple of the different triptan medicines. Um, the tryptan medicines always made me super nauseous. I always knew if I took them, I had to take them with some sort of anti-nausea pill. Otherwise I was going to throw up and it was gonna make me sick. Um, and it was, I almost would have rather, and on certain days, I just muscled through the migraine because the thought of throwing up and being so sick to my stomach was unbearable on top of it. And the pain didn't subside. Mm. Well, the only thing that the medicine did was got rid of the nauseating feeling. Um, the blood thinners made me so faint. Those were taken daily and they made me um, super lightheaded. So I was fainting all the time and blacking out. Uh, and it was, it's, I don't think that's a way to live. And I have low blood pressure as is being as athletic as I am. It was so uncomfortable. I would stand up after sitting down and I would just black out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then the antidepressants that we put me on were a super low dose. And I believe that if you're being treated for that, I think it's a great medicine. But for me, it was just making me so exhausted. Yeah. Um, and the effects were so much greater than I even anticipated. I was falling asleep all the time. And usually I'm super active. So it really wasn't accommodating for my lifestyle to be falling asleep at noon after I had woken up at eight o'clock in the morning and barely gotten out of bed. Um, and then tapering off of the medicine, all of them was just awful. I was constantly exhausted. I was nauseous. I was sick. It was, it was exhausting kind of managing my migraines and this medicine that just wasn't helping me at all. Yeah. No small issue here. This is uh, life changing for you for a few years obviously hear the entire episode for free on itunes spotify other favorite podcast players or go to mechanicalcareforum.com